everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be doing an Australian taste test and I'm taste testing what's in the Daryl Lee Mother's Day bag. Some of you might remember I did a Father's Day taste test with the Daryl Lee bag. The Father's Day one was just jam-packed full of licorice. Would have been an interesting time after Father's Day for Dad. I'd just like to say Happy Mother's Day for all of those mothers out there. Mother's Day can be a little bit of a difficult time for a lot of people out there and for those people... I feel you. Now, a lot of you that watch my channel for a while know that I actually lost my mum to breast cancer years ago. I was in my early 20s when she passed away. I'm a stepmother. I am a mother of cats, I suppose. It doesn't sound as cool as Khaleesi, mother of dragons. So basically, I spent $25 on myself for Mother's Day. Isn't that adorable? Sometimes you do see these bags and you think, could I just buy one of these for myself? Of course you could. Why not? Spoil yourself. Now, it's all contained within this plastic bag. Ooh, this means that people can't go into the shops and steal a couple of Mother's Day items out of your bag. It's all about crime at the end of the day. I see some things I like in here. Thank goodness, hey, because otherwise that would have been a waste of money. This is what you get in the bag. How many items do you get? Six items for $25. So first up, it has a chalk licorice stick, and this is the raspberry licorice, which I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of raspberry licorice. The Daryl Lee one is okay though, but it is very sweet, and it's just basically a long, twisty rod like this, and it's got white chocolate in the middle. It smells really beautiful. I think this smells as good as a scented candle. A little more difficult to light though. licorice is lovely and soft it's very very sweet though so if you love sweet things though you're probably gonna love this and then the combination of that with the white chocolate actually works pretty well together uh, not, not something I would buy yet I did I don't know why they think that mums like raspberry licorice more than darker licorice I don't get it you wouldn't find this in the dad's bag would you because it's pink and obviously girls like to they don't like to eat this though I don't oh <laughs> But just in case mum hasn't had enough raspberry licorice, you get another great big filthy bag of licorice here. I'm not going to open this bag though because it tastes the same as that licorice, so well, there would be no point in that. But it's a pretty big bag which is good. Your mum has to like the raspberry licorice though if you get this bag. Next up I've got these and these are called Little Brittle. They're milk chocolate. It's an easy to open bag. You just go... It's, it's got a Ziploc so you can reseal it. There they are, beautiful. They're quite tiny actually. Have I even had these before? I think I've had ones that are bigger before. They're like a longer stick thing. They're little tiny balls, very small. They're about the size of peanut M&Ms really. Mmm. I love these. I love these. I love the crunchy toffee in the middle there with the peanut bits through it. And then it's got that beautiful milk chocolate on it as well. Let me just bite one disgustingly in half and show you the other half. See, how good is this? Absolutely yum. And the good news is, if you get this bag for mum and she doesn't like some of the stuff, then it's yours. So win-win. Daryl Lee licorice all sorts. Finally, there's some darker licorice in here. And I absolutely love licorice all sorts. Because they're so brightly coloured. I'll just make a suggestion. Give your mum a pair of scissors with her present. Have a look in the bag there. Absolutely beautiful. I feel like there should be more pink ones in here. I put some of them out on my hand and I'm hopefully going to get a pink one in here because there will be a tantrum if I don't find one. There's no pink one in there. What kind of fresh horror is this? I don't think I've actually ever had Daryl Lee licorice all sorts before. I've had other ones. There's usually a lot more colours in them. Like you get green and pink in the same one. But this is just... Sorry, it's a bit of a shock. I'm alright. I'm alright. You've actually even just got black and white ones. I suppose it's classy and adult looking, but I like the really colourful ones. The thing is, they all taste the same. I just wanted them to look pretty. It's Mother's Day. Can't we have a pink one in there? And if you're like me, you dissect your licorice all sorts. That's the only normal way to eat them. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty good. The licorice part is really nice and fresh and so is the other part of the candy which is um which is just like a sugary sort of fondanty sort of I don't know what it is. <laughs> 
I've never known what the other bit on the licorice all sort is. Predominantly the flavour of it is just sugary but I really like it in combination with a licorice because it breaks it up. Really yummy. Next up I've got some balls. These ones are actually coconut flavoured. They're bigger better BBs which I don't know if the smaller BBs. I don't think there is. I think there's only one size. So I don't know what they're better than. But these are coconut rough flavour. No, I'm not even going to bother trying that now. Oh, 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 I just noticed something. It's got a little tear thing there to make my life easier. <sighs> this is a Ziploc bag as well. Have a look in the bag there. What do you see? Blue balls. I'm going to get some of these out of my hand and give you a closer look at them. This is what they look like. They're absolutely beautiful. tasted blue. I really like the chocolate and the coconut combination in this crispy shell, that sweet shell. I kind of wish it wasn't blue though for me because you know I have an issue with eating blue things and I think it should have been white, white for coconut. I guess the colour looks pretty on the packet though. What colour do you reckon these should be? Texture wise I really love the crispy shell with the chocolate and stuff in here. I would recommend cutting that bag open before you giving it to mum and then actually just taking this one out. But she doesn't need to eat all of that stuff. She's never going to know. Yeah, oops, oops. I've lost two balls. <laughs> now this is the last thing in the bag and it's the beautiful milk chocolate Rockley Road. They call it Rockley Road to incorporate their name. It's, I don't know, it's cute I suppose. Some executive probably thinks, brilliant. Bravo, well done me for coming up with that idea. Are you ready for it? Oh, oh, that is really beautiful. Once again though, I would actually prefer if this had pink marshmallow in it as well. It's just the white marshmallow. How beautiful does this Rocky Road look though? Taste wise, this is amazing. I have had it before. It's really, really awkward to eat. You can't really share it with other people because, oh no, you can. You can break off bits like this. And um, oh gee, there's a lot on the table. Mmm, mmm. The chocolate on this is really delicious. It really is delightful. And I really like the combination of the marshmallow and the peanuts as well. It's absolutely tasty, tasty. It's also got bits of coconut in it as well. It's very sickly sweet, but I love it. You might want to keep this one for yourself as well. That's it for the Daryl Lee's Mother's Bag. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this bag. Do you think it's worth the money? $25? What do you think? So happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this taste test. Have a fantastic week everyone. Please remember to give this... I forgot to breathe. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up, share and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.